Hello my friends, welcome to part 55 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and today I would very much like to do the quest, the main quest, Deep Secrets of the Earth. Oh, who are they? Uh, they're not scanning, so they should be neutral, <laughs> I think, I don't know. Alright, there's a thing there. So we need to get to Sunfall, so that's what we're doing now. Last episode, we went through a bit of lore, reading stuff, and, um, oh. The mad king drowned Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. I was actually going to say the exact same thing. Um, I hope we get more answers, you know? Right, it seems to be a side quest here, so at least I know there is one. What is this place? That machine. That machine had an outlander. An outlander on top of it. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you can hear this on YouTube. Some lady commented on Aloy riding a machine. Oh, damn it. Okay, guys, we're going to go up there. Um, all right, I don't know what to expect. This is going to be exciting. However, I'm going to change my outfit. Let's wear... Let's try this one. I like the look of it. Look at this place. This is it, guys. The Sunfall. Right, go to the Citadel Courtyard. I wish I waited until it was daytime. I mean, it looks beautiful at night, don't get me wrong, but... Um... Outlanders are idiots, but perhaps they're useful idiots. <laughs> Thanks. I guess nobody of you. All right, we've got a merchant. We've got some supplies. All right, let's keep going. It's a behemoth. The Oh, I get it now, guys. Wait, <laughs> I'm trying to watch this fight. <laughs> guys, I'm so frightened to do, actually fight this thing. <laughs> So it does a ranged attack by the looks of it. There's this one 360 move it does. It's it's crazy. It's like it's like meteors. It summons me. I'm just waiting for that move and then we'll move on. Yeah, I don't think they die, these NPCs. Oh shit, this is it guys. Oh my lord. <laughs> They surely have not survived that. Nope, they're getting up. Okay, whatever. We'll leave them to it, guys. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say was I was a bit confused as to what the Sun Ring is and how people were, you know, essentially sacrificed. So they just dump a whole load of machines in here and just send, you know, anyone in there to, to get killed. That's crazy. Anyway, right, where are we going? Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? In theory, all should be well. <sighs> What's happening here? Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Meantime, secure Guys, that's so cool. Guys, I've said it many times, but the Shadow Carja's armor is amazing. Should stay vigilant. Are they going to aggro to me? All right, let's leave them to it, guys. <laughs> but that is really cool. What's happening here? Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. <laughs> All just ran in there. Okay. I'll take the shards. 
Even if it means having a listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Carja are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. All right, interesting. What is going on here? I know that name, Bahavas. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. He's just a I kid. Man, Lucian Bahavas, to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel. Wow. Okay, that's... Wait. All right, that's open a, a side quest, but I really want to do the main quest today. I don't know. Should I... Let's talk to them. Let's talk to these people. Savage Tarav. They call me Savage Tarav. Protector of Lucent Bahavas. Protector? Or enforcer. Depends on where the shadow falls. Now on your way. <laughs> Very friendly. Okay, what about you? Relentless Shivan. I am Relentless Shivan. I guard the High Priest. From what? Whatever troubles him. So don't. <laughs> All right, cool. What about you? I am Merciful Usus Shield of Bahavas. Merciful. My enemies die fast. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that was a good one, guys. All right, who are all? Wow. Are these part of a side quest or anyway? Yun. Nora. You have the mark of a seeker. It's more complicated than that. I'm an outcast, like you. Yes. I am Yun. These are the shunned. We'll take any job, but hunting our hated tribe. That's for free. Keep that in mind. Why did they cast you out? Murder. You? Mm. Birth. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually funny, guys. Exile. Right, he's Banuke. This dude here. Wait, what's his name? Kid Cook. Why do I recognize that name? Anyway. You're not known to Kid Cook's killers. If any songs been written about you? Uh, maybe. How about you? Only laments. We're the enders of songs. Machine spirit or man spark. We stop them all. Ah, charming. Warmth is for weakness. Okay. Cam. Another Nora outside the sacred land. Banishment is a bitter draft. Okay. And all right, this is another Banuk. New lads. I hunt with Kikuk. Speak with him if you must. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's move on. So we need to yeah, go this way. But there's two dudes. Hardly. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. I can see climbables. All right, guys, what I'm going to do, uh, let me speak to these two you first. Watch some slaughter. This is the place to do it. I don't like heights. You worry me, boy. You worry me. I'm convinced we got to meet all of these characters later in side quests. But anyway, all right. <laughs> Another manhunt. How many men and women can one tribe lose? 
Odin, leader of Odin's marvels. You've a fresh face. When you're less an eye or an ear or two, you'll fit right in. First impressions make the sale, except in this snake pit. They'll take whoever shows up. Worked here before? This isn't your first job for the Shadow Karja? Scared of their own shadows, Karja, more like. They spit on me, but the shards are good. Look at those nobles. I say noble, but you can't dress a rat in silk and call it a rat king, can you? <laughs> Sunfall is a house of clay. If you were to stamp your foot, it would all crumble. Shouldn't you all be setting out to hunt Uthid? Have you never done this before? Whoever goes first just leads the others. Just take a load off and avail yourself of some Karja booze until someone sniffs out the trail. Then watch us seek out our prey, straight as a ravager's shot. Zip! Are you sure you're gonna be able to walk in a straight line? What are you getting at? Do you think Uthid did what they're accusing him of? I hope so. It'll make him more dangerous. My advice, it's best not to overthink such things. Uh, overthink whether he's guilty or innocent? <laughs> you let all these thoughts in your head, you'll never make it as a mercenary. Only thing that matters is dead or alive. If they say alive, bring a rag to stuff in its mouth. But these days, no one wants alive. <laughs> okay. Farewell, Odin. Good hunting. If I should have cause to kill you, you won't suffer. Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, how generous. How how kind and generous of you. Okay, can I speak to your friend here or what? Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I thought that was... Go away, leave me alone. So who's who? I don't understand. Ah, you know what? Never mind. All right, guys. So we need to go here. Right? What's... Wait, 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 wait. Nope, that's close. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's go this way then. Okay. Oh, this looks a little bit dangerous. Okay, <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. All right, good. And then what, here? Shit. Wait, where am I going? Am I climbing upwards? No, I'm not. I'm going down. No, down. Aloy. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Right, it's here. Just check if there's anything else. No. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. What? Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I don't believe this, guys. I, I didn't know this. No one told me in the comments. <laughs> so I really wanted to get through as many side quests. Um, do I want to do this, though? Oh, crap. Okay, look, uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm here now. I I'm committed. I have made a save. I guess I could start again. But I'm not going to do that, guys. Let's go for it. And whatever happens, happens. Hey, it's my first playthrough, so give me a break. <laughs> Okay. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila. For her, 
all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Oh shit. Malfunction. You kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention oh we shit place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped wow <laughs> wow guys that's all i've got to say <laughs> this is this is not okay guys i may as well tell you um, she's a clone. Aloy is a clone of Liz Elizabeth Sobek. That's what I'm thinking. Um, anyway, whatever. Let's keep going. I don't know why she's... To Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Guys, we made it. Sorry, before they start talking, I don't obviously know what the connection is, why she's cloned, who cloned her. I don't get it. I'm really confused about that. Unless Elizabeth Sobek is still alive, meaning I don't know, she she's immortal or something. She um cryogenically froze herself, and her and some people are still living in the mountain where the Nora live and she cloned herself <laughs> I don't know why or if I'm right about that but still okay guys this is a data point so we'll read this and another data point I can see all right let's go for it another incident okay lounge staff to admin subject another incident this morning's unfortunate incident with Dr Popovich is Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project, but as the staff who serve on the front line, we're tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators, fluent in Polish, for example. Security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists, for example and dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and vases at reception staff, for example. Jesus. Yes, most of the candidates are re reasonably calm and well-behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond. Wow, why are they so angry? All right, there's another data point there. Uh, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to search everything. And if it is taking too long, I'll trim the video so it's a little bit edited. You know, my time skip ahead. Right, let's check this out. Don't think there's anything else here. We need support too. Right. Reception from reception staff this time to admin subject. We need support too. Reception staff continues to require additional support managing Z oh, uh, Zero Dawn candidates when they arrive at the facility. Many are frightened or confused. Some are highly agitated. 
These are not the sorts of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translators. The Langbots are not sufficient. And mild sedatives for the extreme cases. Any and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding to one of these mails. Gosh. Right, guys, I don't know what's beyond these doors, but this is it now. All right, more data points I can see. It's so one there. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. No, don't climb. <laughs> God damn it, hey, which does that? Okay, we've got a room there. It's telling me to go that way. I'll read that data point in just a second. Let's go through here first. Right, there's a data point in here. Fantastic. And give me a second. All right, we've got that. Okay, there's a data point. Give me a second. Right, nothing else. Okay, cool. Restock or else. Okay, from lounge staff to admin, subject, restock or else. For the fifth time, please <laughs> restock the lounge's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw a tantrum because we're out of, or of the organic cucumber, mint or blackberry sage varietals, I'm going to lose it. Please respond, and this time, no tempest in a teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Was there another? No, there wasn't. It was just the same one. All right, cool. So that's that. Now, what's this? Soundproofing. From lounge staff to admin, subject soundproofing. Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing be between VR1 and the lounge area, area? Sorry, Most of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be painfully heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. Just a thought. What in the heck? All right. Okay, let's go through here. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. All right, guys, let's do it. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. 
Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Guys, I was totally silent for that because my jaw was on the floor. That was insane. So humanity didn't survive. Well, nothing. Nothing survived. Molecular life didn't survive. Insects didn't survive. Animals, my, my cute cat didn't make it this is insane guys <laughs> i'm blown away by this this is insane but the missing piece of the puzzle is what did elizabeth sobeck actually do what the hell a barren sphere so even if we did make it into outer space and maybe came back earth would have been a barren sphere but it didn't happen like that Oh, I don't know, guys. That's the missing link. Let's keep going, guys. Um, wait, before I leave, is there anything I can grab here? No data points, nothing. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay, enter viewing room. We've done that. What? They got in through the vent. Oh shit! Let nothing stop you from shit. Truth. Crap. Okay, sorry, guys. If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? Oh crap, he's got a heavy weapon. That's alright, we'll take him. Don't worry guys, we'll take him. Yeah, I'm really pissed off they're here. They are not good enough to know about this place. They're not worthy. But they're here, whatever. <laughs> oh crap! Okay, wait, let's go this way. Right, there was a dude right here. Him. Okay, I'm gonna power up one of these. <laughs> he's still he's still looking for me, guys. Okay. Oh damn it! Come back, you scumbag. Quietly. He's alive. What the? I can't see him, guys. Oh god, damn it! She's disappeared. She's disappeared. <laughs> All right, guys. This might even be us. The travel printer stop us now. The data points. What did they contain? Yeah, you know what, guys? Sorry, I was just gonna say that. And that's actually a really good point from Silence. We've come so far to let tribal primitives stop us now. All right, guys. I, I don't even know where to start. Where where do we want to start? I need to get to the bottom of this. There's a ladder here. Let's go up here. Maybe there's some supply crates or something. Hey, can he? Hey. <laughs> oh, there's a data point here. Check it out. All right, give me a sec before I interact with that. Does this go anywhere? No, we can't enter it. Okay, fine. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, we can listen to it. Interview Dr. Sue Fei. There is some mistake. 
I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Oh my god, guys, this is crazy. All right, let's go back down. Let's start again. Was there anything else though here? Okay, let's, um, uh, guys, let's look at every single data point. All right, let's start from the beginning. Okay, we were here, right? Let's start, I, I don't know, this way, I guess. Tom Page. That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolved into nutrients millennia of evolution liquefied the miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel in a word yes who did this pharaoh that asshole is he here no doctor please tell him tom pike wants a word now get off get off Please, you get Ted Pharaoh in here. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but whoever Tom Pake is, he is a hero. He is a Chad. And I hope he did beat the shit out of Ted Farrow, because Ted Farrow is a cocksucker. All right, anyway, let's keep going. So basically every everything like nutrients and cells were devoured as well by the machines. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Travis Tate. Want to discuss? Oof. So mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and leak of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. <laughs> I like this dude. <laughs> All right, so he's, I, I'm still unclear why he was um, brought here, but he sounds like a criminal, I think. But I like him. He was cool. All right, guys, so let's have a look at this one. Right, Brad and Dak. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since, since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just, I really hoped 
Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all, my work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but tech could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Gosh, that's insane. Right, memory and light. Isn't that how cauldrons create, um, you know, the bosses like the Thunder Jaw, etc.? Wow, this is heavy, <laughs> guys. This is so heavy. It's it's insane. All right, there were more. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's more here. I don't want to miss anything, guys. Oh, there's a thing here. Okay, there might be a secret. There might be a power cell. Get that in just a moment. Oh, nice. Good loot. All right, here we go, guys. Suzanne Alpert. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't... Uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Whoa. So, guys, no matter what, life would have ended anyway. I I'm so confused, though. It's still... Zero Dawn did work. Anyway, whatever. Let's um keep going. Counselor guidelines. Oh, this is text. Okay. Wow, guys, this is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts. All right. Anyway, counselor gu uh, guidelines one. For debriefing after presentation one, candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they have received. It is important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It is essential to stress that all other options for combating the Pharaoh Plague and preserving the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. So there was nothing anyone could do. Anyway, communicate this fact calmly but clearly and firmly. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm. Addendum B1, an unfeasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar, or undersea structures. That's crazy, guys. Addenda C1, C2, C3, so that you can counter candidates' objections in depth. If a candidate asks for time alone to review supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel so the candidate can be monitored for attempts at self-harm. Candidates should only be cleared to proceed to presentation two if you believe their mental state is sufficiently stable. Note that real-time supports will be available via your focus. Security and medical crisis teams are data corrupted. Guys, that is insane. <laughs> God damn it. So they even considered living in, on the moon, maybe on a base or something, undersea structures... There won't be undersea. Um, am I right in saying that? Even the sea would have been absorbed by the machines. Oh, <laughs> whoa. This is, this is nuts, guys. Okay, I don't want to miss anything. Right, there's one there. 
Oh, sorry. Interview Captain Okilo, um, Warfare Specialist. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, US Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Gosh, guys, that's insane. And you know what she said there about uh, Zero Dawn being something to deactivate all the codes? That's what I thought it would have been as well. I thought it was going to be an AI to destroy... Well, destroy the machines, essentially. The Hearts team of Swarm. Deactivate them. But that hasn't happened. No, but it did happen. Oh, I'm confused. You know what? <laughs> Room bear, don't overthink. There's another thing there. All right, there's one. There's a more. Uh, Ron Felder. Aerospace Engineering. Look. Let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not going to happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Oh no, that's awful, guys. Some people accepted it, like that Travis Day guy. He, he, he was awesome. But um, a lot of people didn't, and they just they just went crazy. Wow, guys, this is insane, man. It's just blowing my mind. I just thought this game would be, you know, hunting robots and... Yeah, just tribes. <laughs> that's it. And that's pretty much it. No, don't climb. Aloy, Aloy. <laughs> this way. All right, guys. Oh, come on. There has to be more. Sorry, guys. Give me a moment. All right, guys. Sorry. I remembered we need to go here. There might be some... There uh, might be a power cell here. Come on, come on. Whoa, check this out. What? We've been here. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, maybe further up. Oh, uh, what? I swear this... Oh, no. I think that's it. No, that can't be. Give me a sec. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we come out here. Right, that's our dude's weapon. So we need to go here and then do... All right. Oh, Aloy, can, can you move? She's getting stuck. No, we've been here, guys. So what was the point of that? God damn it. All right, let's go through here. I couldn't find anything else, guys, so... Data intact. Initiating playback. 
Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Oh, wow. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. A crazer. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas. Oh my to the God. Of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks. To rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But... Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And... Apollo... The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. All right, guys, look, before they start talking, <laughs> fuck me, this is, this is crazy, dude. This is insane. I've literally got chills. I've got chills all over my body. It's insane. This is insane. Um, So we saw Hades is there, and it's, Elizabeth Sobek said it wasn't an AI, though. 
did I catch that correctly? He's, it's not an AI, but why is it alive? It, in Well, you know, in every sense of the word. It talks, it speaks, it thinks. <laughs> I'm so confused about that, but um, guys, I am blown away by this. So there was nothing that could be done. We couldn't save... When I say we, I'm talking about, you know, us being uh, the ancient ones or whatever. We couldn't save ourselves, but we could make make way for a future of humans and animals and stuff. But why aren't there any, I don't know, elephants, lions, tigers, you know, cats and dogs? I think I mentioned that in a previous episode, guys. All I see are boars, rats, you know, etc., etc. Sorry, I've, I've got so many things in my head right now. So let's keep going. And um, I'll shut up. <laughs> but I've got full body chills, guys. All right. What now? Oh, more, more data points. One, two, three, four. You can see on the mini map. Make your selection. All right, you are now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. Jesus. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counsellors are standing by to assist you in making your choice. Participation. Sorry, number one, participation. You you will be assigned to a sub-project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome is uncertain. You will be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week and your communications with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your media family or two persons of your choosing will be transferred to the Elysium sealed habitat to live out the remainder of your natural lives. That's insane, guys. So that, I guess that'll be their reward for, you know. So is that where Lee, uh, Elizabeth Sobek and, and all of them have, re they're still there. Anyway, sorry, guys, sorry. Number two, indefinite detention. Should you wish to decline participation in Project Zero Dawn, you will be confined indefinitely. You will be given 48 hours to reconsider, after which your decision to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world. Oh gosh, and death within 18 months due to the Pharaoh Plague is inevitable. When the Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, detainees who wish not to opt for medical... Oh gosh, that's awful. Opt for medical eth euthanasia will be released. Oh, that's crazy. So they just kick him out <laughs> when it's the end. All right, medical euthanasia. Uh, the information you have just received understandably calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you would prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical, um, you, sorry, euthanasia, I beg your pardon, guys, I can't read, <laughs> is available. A 48-hour waiting period is required, during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement. Please notify a counsellor when you are ready to make your choice or if you have further questions. Guys, that is insane. All right, and guess what? Now I've put the pieces together, Okay, do you remember at the very beginning of the game, part one, do you remember when young Aloy fell into that um, into that cave? And do you remember all those people were dead? It was very confusing. It was amazing being there because it was so mysterious. Now I get it. So that's a, another facility. And all those people, you know, the Wichita salient or something, something has collapsed. So I think that was the last line of defense. Once the robots tore through there, that was it. That's, you know, that is it now for humanity. So everyone was like, okay, we'll take some, you know, euthanasia, I guess. And that's where we found those bodies. 
Guys, I've got full chills. This story is incredible. It's so horrific as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so we still got one, two, and three. D there's one data point here, funnily enough. Okay. Right, counter guidelines two. Okay. All right, here we go. For debriefing after presentation two. It is vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly without additional coercion or without value judgment on the part of the counsellor. Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasise that their dedicated participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chances of success. Frame, pro uh, frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses. Emphasize the value of candidates' expertise and to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond zero day. Validate their hes hesitation. Acknowledge that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned. If possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, Permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles GO1 through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48-hour waiting period, during which counsellors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasise that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent when the procedure is uh, scheduled uh, to take place. No one will be euthanised against her or his will. Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse their decision uh, their decision after which the decision oh i don't want it to cut off i want to know more about this guys one more thing shit happy birthday isaac do you remember that guy with the party hat and now i get it oh this is so crazy guys so he was literally saying to the wife look this is the best I, I can do i don't want to tell him tell my son obviously the truth oh we're all gonna die you know what i mean he said happy birthday isaac and um oh that's so tragic guys that's so sad it's so sad make a selection we've done that we've done that all right let's go guys um we've got two more data points right check it out i'm so excitable because i did not expect this <laughs> this is insane guys it's insane interview to brad and dak isn't this a dude that went crazy or was that someone else hey i pressed triangle oh my god come on of course i'll do it to be given the opportunity to rebuild what i uh the the, the damage did i well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. A, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, but for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. Wow, guys, he, he still sounds to me 
he's still very unstable and he is suffering from immense guilt because he's the one that designed the uh, self-replication uh, that's how the machines can actually self-replicate this is not his fault obviously it's that ted farrah cocksucker who caused all of this oh my god i hate him so much guys i really do i hate him so much what a what a dickhead all right anyway whatever let's keep going right where are these um right nothing there okay check it out right there's one here wait 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 okay we've got a lot to explore guys bear with me interview to ron felder no this is the crazy dude aerospace engineering oh classics is he to make sure i behave this time security for your protection would you like to discuss how you're feeling sure i'll tell you surprised no flabbergasted like my own man would say flabbergasted that vein pumping in his forehead i thought i thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project but now i can see it's worse much worse sobek is a total fantasist a, a dangerous fantasist this kind of blue skying it, it's <sighs> jesus i'm sorry we wasted each other's time i'm ready to leave now he can't leave that's not possible <laughs> everything you're talking about here isn't possible i recommend you read the documents regarding your options i've seen enough i'm getting out of here oh, what are you you know get your hands off me wow i feel sorry for him man he, he didn't obviously take this well you know oh gosh anyway what's this one interview to suzanne alpert uh environmental reclamation reclamation okay oh god i was pressing too late if you're still nauseous no the inhibitors have kicked in i can't feel the back of my tongue i wish i could tell you i'd believe in this but the damage is too great too extensive too complete with all respect to dr sobeck's work at miriam no no life doesn't always find a way to keep going sometimes it never comes back like syzygy east like the congo like timo like us that's our reward a buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock you grow old together with your loved ones in safety i don't have loved ones i suppose i could start a family i'm afraid not all inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Wow, that's... That is crazy, guys. I feel sorry for... Oh, that... Wow. Wow. Alert. Medical wing inaccessible. What does that mean? Okay, um, sorry, I do not want to miss any. Uh, guys, let me just do a quick sweep over there. I'll be back soon. Hey, guys, no, there was nothing. I just really wanted to know if there was anything else. But we're in this room here. I am super confused, actually. And what the heck is this? <laughs> what? What is this? All right, never mind. Okay. All right, there's something here. Oh, come on. There's no more recordings, really? Nothing to read? What the hell is this? 
stranded shackles. What the hell does that mean? Oh, uh, I don't know. To detain people who've gone mad. I don't know. All right, guys. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I don't see anything else here. All right, let's move on. Let's go to that um, that main door. I've got full chills, guys. <laughs> this 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 game. Whoever wrote the story for this, genius. All right, here we go. All right, what now? Intruder, get her! Oh Let's fuck! See. Whatever you do, don't die now. Uh, thanks, silence. Oh come on, scan. Shit, they're all heavies, guys. They're all skull. Um, okay, wait, wait. Let's put arrow breaker. Okay, and what we're gonna do? Actually, guys, you know what? Actually, no, sorry, sorry. Change my mind again. Check this out. <laughs> All right, hopefully he's gonna fire his buddies. Oh, please say he is. Guys, that would suck if it's not working. I thought it works on humans. Are you kidding? He's not firing his friends. Or maybe he is. No, he is. <laughs> this is great. He's actually. No, 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 no. Fire buddy. Oh, you know what? Never mind. All right, and I think we should bring out the blast thing. Okay, not um, stickies. Let's do this one. Do you know what's so funny? The whole time I'm fighting these guys, all I can think about is this story. <laughs> will this work on a human? It will. <laughs> it's actually locked on to him. Look. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting used to these guys. I love these blast hammers. Whoa, bam. Okay. Right, anyone else? What's down here? Right, don't think we can access that. Okay, we came out of here. Sorry, I'm a little bit disorientated. There's something there. What was that lighting? Anyway, let's keep going, guys. So, this room. Any collectibles? Yes, check it out. Oh, Tom Pake, the one that wanted to beat the shit out of um, Pharaoh. With them what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Oh, gosh. The counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake. I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Wow, guys. So once he completes whatever Artemis is, um, am I right in assuming he's talking about animals, repopulating animals? Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. All right, please be a data point and how so perhaps? Wait, wait, there's more. There's more here. All right, just quickly. Anything else? I don't want to miss anything, guys. Hope you understand. 
Right, let's loot these uh, pricks. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Okay, so we need to. All right, fine. But let me just loot this dude. Oh, you're kidding. Guys, there's going to be a boss fight. If they're giving me this much <laughs> health potions. No, I don't want the weapon. Aloy, put the weapon down. I don't want it. All right. Okay, that was traps I can carry. Okay, that's where we need to go, but not now. We're not going to do that yet. Can I go in here? Is there any other rooms? All right, here we go. Okay, Christina Suve, and I think she's the art. It is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Suve? Christina Suve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium. That we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Well, where is the art? Sorry, guys, I'm just stunned. This this is a heavy story, man. It, it's... Anyway, I don't want to keep saying it because it will get boring, but it, it's crazy, it's insane, and it is bloody amazing sci-fi. Travis Tay, my boy. <laughs> now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down the checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sad these people are just not here anymore. All right, guys, so let's grab that. I'd have to leave something else behind. Okay, anything else? I do not want to miss anything. All right, fine. I don't think there's anything else now. That door's shut, so we have to find a way to open it. Is there anything down here? Uh, I was going to risk it, but I might die. Oh, no, we're going downwards anyway, so. All right, here we go. Right, there's a data point again. Oh, shit, guys. I didn't even consider this. There may be more Eclipse. I need to be careful here. I'm just thinking about the story. Another one of these. Okay. Need to find the right configuration. All right, check it out. There's a part missing. Hey. Maybe there's I'm done with here. Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. 
All right, guys, just before I... I'm done with no, I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> right, before um, Aloy's um, dialogue cut out, she said there's a part missing. Oh, Jesus, Aloy, stop getting stuck. God damn it. Right, code Nexus. Okay. Right, left, up. Oh, anyway, anyway, the, the lady said everything's in reverse. I need to find this. So where to now? Where do I go? Oh, could it be here? No, this ain't it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm stuck. What the hell? Should I do these just for now? Oh, she didn't say. Wait, one second. If I turn up there. Okay, left, up, left. Nope. I was trying to roll. I hit circle to roll. Okay, down. And right. Okay. Done. I should check the door nearby. Okay, fine. So that will activate that, and I'm pretty certain we'll find the missing thing in above. Um, in this room, maybe. Guys, I I'm just blown away by this. All right. Anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> right. We need to find this damn thing. Where is it? Okay, there's a ladder, but is there anything there? No, there is not. Okay, let's go up. There's really nothing here. All right, data points. Give it to me. Come on. All right, give me a sec, guys. What's this? Oh, that's the same place. Sorry, one sec. All right, let's grab that. That must be the missing thing above. Looks intact. And before we do anything, let's go here because storage case. All right, guys, let's do this. Now she said something about everything's in reverse, right? So that should do the trick. Nice. Okay, let me listen to this again. What's the thing? Oh. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Park around. Wait, hold up. Everything's in reverse, but what's the thing? What's the actual code? Oh, it's there. Sorry, I'm blind. Okay, so, Pharaoh. Down. So this will be down. Come on, Aloy. Okay, that one will be... <laughs> Sorry, this one will be the opposite, obviously, so that'll be that. Okay, next one. That's fine, that's done already. Up and... I hope this is right. <laughs> and this one's up, but we need to put it down. That did it. Yes! <laughs> now to see what lies beyond it. Sorry, where am I going? I'm lost again. <laughs> Guys, this whole time my brain has just been thinking about what these people must have gone through. I don't blame some, some of them actually losing their minds, you know? Who's to say if you were faced with um, something like this... You know, how would you take it? You might think, oh, no, I'll be fine. I'll be okay. But you will never know unless it happens to you. Anyway, let's go through here. Shit! Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much 
Watch for avoiding contact. Shit. Okay, guys. One, two. Shit. Guys, there's loads of them and a skull level. Uh, some music is hype though <laughs> all right you know what wait wait let's be a little bit patient i want to know what weapons they're carrying though oh uh, guys guys backpack backpack dude one second one second just wait damn damn he's straight wow unbelievable <laughs> go on explode next to your buddy arsehole you have no right to be here. You know what? Screw it. I've got something special for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. Come on, man. All right, guys. There's probably going to be more. There is. Okay, so we're going to do proximity bombs. No, not on the pillar. God damn it. Shit. Fire arrows. Damn, I can't see them. Damn it, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, guys. <laughs> My bomb going. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right. I know someone's running up on me. I can't see him. <laughs> Don't need to. Right. Are you alone? Okay, wait, 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 guys. I don't think you can see me. Okay, let's go around behind him. You're shitting me! Oh my god, that's embarrassing, guys. Dude, can you stop moving? My god, you piece of shit. Oh, crap. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, I didn't know who was a skull enemy. Sorry, guys. I didn't even know that. All right, good. Really? Or not. No! No, 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 no! No! There's more people. Shit. Oh, God, he's got a Deathbringer gun. Okay. Debate the shadow. Let me get this gun. I need it. It's mine. Come on, come on. Come on, who's next? Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Just kidding. Room's clear. Really? Yeah, moment anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <laughs> oh my god guys that was intense and the music was hype all right listen i'm gonna loot up the room but i want to take my um actually can i grab these again i can okay i'm gonna loot up the room but i want to keep this gun just in case there are other enemies 